I'd love to walk you through how to build a directory style homepage on WordPress. And there's only a handful of different tools that you need in order to get this done. The first one is Thrive Architect, which is the tool that we're gonna be using to design our homepage. And then we're also going to use custom post types the custom post types plugin to build our directory. And finally, we'll use advanced custom fields to dynamically personalize the content that gets displayed on our directory. And come to think of it, Thrive Theme Builder may come in handy as well, and I'll show you why in a second. All right, let's jump into it. Before we start, if you are into WordPress tutorials, you may wanna hit the subscribe button as that's pretty much all we do here at Thrive Themes. Okay, in order to design our directory, I'm gonna be using Thrive Architect. And if you wanna follow along with me, you're going to want to download Thrive Themes Product Manager from our site, install it on your WordPress website, and then power through the Thrive Theme Builder wizard to get started. This wizard is what's going to allow you to pick out some of those must-have components of your WordPress theme, such as your header, your footer, your blog page, and so on. Great, and now we need to install the custom post types plugin. This plugin is going to allow us to organize blog posts that belong to a given directory. For example, in our case, we're going to be dissecting how we put together the apps directory for Thrive Automator. This is a directory homepage where people can look and see which apps integrate with Thrive Automator, and they can browse through different types of applications, anything from email apps, membership apps, lead generation applications, and more. Creating your custom post type is rather simple. You simply need to jump into custom post types, click on the option to add a new type of post type, give it a name, and then spend a few minutes customizing the appearance of your post type. You can customize singular and plural labels, how your search results are going to get displayed, and so on. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Now, once you've created your custom post type, you'll notice how there's a new type of post pinned on your WordPress toolbar. If you click on it, you'll realize how this looks very much just like the default blog post area that WordPress comes with. And the truth is, it should, because at the end of the day, what we've created is still very much a blog post, right? It's a new type of blog post, but it's still a blog post. And we're gonna be using this to organize all of our directory items. Okay, before we start adding in some directory items in the form of blog posts, I want us to jump into the categories of our new custom blog post and add some in there. In my case, we're gonna have categories such as email marketing, um, e-commerce, content management system, and so on. If you're building a directory site for real estate listings, some of your categories may be houses, condos, studios, lofts, and so on. Categories are very important because these are the filters that people are going to be clicking on to filter through your directory on the front end of your website. Another very quick example, if you're creating a directory for vegan recipes, you may have a category called breakfast, dinner, lunch, snacks. At the end of the day, I guess you kind of just want to put yourself in the shoes of your customers and think and ask yourself, okay, how would my customers want to browse through my directory? Great, and now that we have our categories created, let's jump into advanced custom fields to create a new short description for our apps. This description is the one that we're going to have on our main homepage, and it's essentially going to consist of a brief summary of what the app is about. To do this, we're going to install advanced custom fields, and once it's active, we're going to jump into field groups and create a new field called description. Have it be a field of type text area, and make sure that you make it visible for your new type of custom blog post, in my case, apps. Uh, I'm also going to be creating a new field called banner image, which is the image that I also want to display for each application within my directory. The cool thing about advanced custom fields is that you could have as many custom fields as you want. You can create a custom field called number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, and have those get displayed on your directory to create a real estate-like experience right on your homepage. This is kind of what Zillow and Airbnb do. Okay, brief recap so far. We've created our new custom post type called apps. We've also created a new custom field called description, which is the summary that we're going to be displaying for each app in our directory. And we also have a custom field for our accompanying image. Now, we need to create all of our content that is going to get displayed in our directory. And to do this, we're going to jump right back into our apps and start creating some apps. Uh, some apps, we're actually just creating blog posts, right? Um, I've already done this step to save us some time, but if I go inside any of them and I scroll down, you can see how my advanced custom fields are there 
right in action. They show up and I can upload my banner image, I can edit my app summary, and I can customize as many advanced custom fields as I want. The next step is to design our homepage in a way in which we can present and show off our directory in a nice and organized way. The easiest way to do this is to fire up Thrive Architect and customize your page however you wish. But remember how I told you earlier that Thrive Theme Builder was gonna come in handy? My suggestion with directory sites is that you create a new page template inside Thrive Theme Builder so that you can repurpose it over and over again. Because here's the thing, search is an important part of any given directory, right? I mean, you wanna let people search for things using a search bar. And I feel like we did a good job um, in our Thrive Automator app directory of making search user-friendly. As you can see, there's a search bar at the top that people can use to browse through all of our content. And since our content is made up of blog posts, they can look for specific apps and these will get displayed in the form of an archive page, which we've designed to be exactly like our homepage. And in case you don't know what an archive page is, it's a list of blog posts that all WordPress sites come with, right? And we just happen to have designed it to be exactly like our homepage, which means that when you look for something, the user experience is pretty neat because users are being redirected to an archive page that contains their search result. But for them, it feels like they never really navigated away from the homepage at all because the archive page looks exactly like the homepage. And so now all that's really left for us to do is to build our directory in our page, right? And to do this, we need to do two things. The first one is insert a post list, which in my case, I've placed inside a two column layout on the right hand column, right hand column, right? You're right, this is my right, you're right. We then need to design the appearance of our post list. We can insert our banner image dynamically. This is the image that we've uploaded using advanced custom fields. And we can also of course add in our app summary. And again, depending on the type of directory site that you're building, you can have as many custom fields and as many elements as you want. You can show off the number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, you can have as many images as you like, uh, you know, get creative. And for our last step, we wanna let people filter by type of application. And to do this, we're going to drop any post list filter on the left-hand column. And we wanna make sure that we only let users pick one choice at a time and have that choice be the category of our application. Okay, before you go, I know that I've skipped through most of the design parts that would be involved in designing the directory because I didn't wanna make the video excessively long. And I also wanted to really concentrate on the backbone of how to build a directory quickly on WordPress. And now that I'm thinking about it, this has been a little bit of a deep dive video. Uh, feel free to watch it a couple of times if you have to. And hey, be sure to ask any questions that you may have down in the comment section. If you do have any questions about the design, how I've designed things in Thrive Architect, I'm more than happy to uh, record follow-up videos and post them in our Facebook group. There's a link in the description box that you can click on. There are also some more useful links to Thrive Suite and other tools that I've mentioned throughout the video in the description as well. And yeah, I truly appreciate your time. Uh, thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.